David Gerard here. I'm in Sedan, Kansas. Came to see Emmett Kelly Museum. Because Emmett Kelly was born here and lived here until he was about eight years old. And they began the museum about 52 years ago to honor him. He did come here in 1967 to do a program at the school in honor of the beginning of the museum. The picture's up here on the wall. Oh, I see. He came here in 1967. That was the year the museum opened. He did those in September at an assembly at the school. And he would imitate. He, he, the one on the right was supposed to be the school librarian. One of them was supposed to imitate the principal. And so he just kind of, he would talk about things as he drew and then tie them into what the picture he drew. Huh. But like I mentioned before, he drew this picture about 18 years before he actually became Weary Willie. He never talked or said anything, no. did he? He didn't no. make any didn't know, uh, noises either. He never smiled in costume until one time. He was at the phone calling to see if his wife had had her baby. Oh. And he found out a little girl had been born, and a photographer caught him on camera smiling. So, pretty neat. We have the train set here. Would you like to see it run? And oh, sure. Okay, that circus always traveled by train. So this just gives it a little bit of an example of what it would be like if the circus came to town. The circus people actually designed the longest train car legal to drive on the, on the, on the tracks just so they could travel as cheaply as possible and put more people in each car. Oh, really? Yeah. And, uh, what else is Sedan noted for? Well, we have the Yellow Brick Road out front. Back in the 80s, oil and gas prices dropped and there were a lot of businesses that went under, a bank went under, and some ladies got the idea to create a yellow brick road. So they sold bricks for $10 a piece with your name on them, and they would dig up the sidewalk and print those bricks and lay them down on the sidewalk. So it would take off on Wizard of Oz. Right, similar to the Wizard of Oz, and then we would have a yellow brick road festival every May. And we've had one since then, except for this year. They canceled it because, because of COVID. COVID. But yeah, if you walk out there, there's thousands okay, yeah, of bricks good. lying in the street. <laughs> so he was on TV? Yes. Uh, he did do some guest appearances, and like I mentioned, Red Skeleton before. And then towards the latter part of his life, he was in Las Vegas. And he would actually do little programs for children while their parents were out gambling. Oh. And he would draw pictures and then send them home with the kids. So uh, if they got an autographed picture of Emmett Kelly, they felt, or Weary Willie, they felt pretty good. Emmett Kelly became the greatest clown of all time as the hobo Weary Willie. But a lot of people don't know that he was first of all an artist. He did chalk talk when he was a kid. He showed a lot of artistic talent. And his mother got him art lessons through the mail. Then when he was 18, after he graduated from high school, he went to Kansas City to make his fame. And his first jobs at the circus were actually drawing designs on the, the cars as they would travel with him. And then later on, he watched the aerialist work and he bought a trap set to, to practice in his backyard. And he and his first wife were called the flying 